YouTube's been suggesting me a lot of videos on the Feynman technique recently, and uh, I thought I'd do my own video on the Feynman technique in the 21st century, because I think we can change it, we can improve on the Feynman technique because of the technology that we have today. Here it is, the Feynman technique is pretty simple. It states that if you can't explain something clearly and simply, you don't understand it well enough. And it's his way to learn anything. He said, take a topic, read, find out as much as you can, but then stop and try and explain it. And he had you just standing, talking to the wall, trying to explain it verbally out loud. Well, what happens when you try and explain something out loud is you get to this point where you realize, I don't know what to say. I'm sure I get it, but I don't know what to say. I don't know how to explain it. And those are the points. Those are the points at which you need to go and find something else out. So you try and explain it out loud, and then you go back and you find the bits that you didn't know, and you try again. And you essentially just keep trying until you could explain it to basically a child. It's the 21st century, and here's my suggestion to you. The Feynman technique in the 21st century is, let's use video. Let's just whack out our phones. Take a video of yourself explaining it, and watch that back. Where did you stop? Where did you pause and think, hmm, I didn't really get that after all. What did you have to add to it? How did you refine your explanation to get to something that anybody can understand? This is really what I do here on my channel. I explain something and you don't see a lot of the times when I'm like, oh, oh, I better have another look at that before I try and explain it to the camera. This is why your teachers seem like they know quite a lot of stuff is because they spend a lot of time honing those explanations and really thinking how do I explain this to people who didn't have any conception of this at the start. That's why a lot of your teachers get you to present to the rest of the class because it really puts you under pressure and makes you realise when you didn't fully understand something. I'd love to see some videos of you guys trying to explain the stuff that you know you need to know for your GCSEs. It will honestly help. Don't expect to pick up the phone and point it at yourself and it to be a perfect explanation straight away. It won't be, but have a go. It will test out whether you truly understand something or not. You can read the textbook and think to yourself, yeah, I get all that, but did you really understand it? Could you explain it in the simplest terms possible? Could you explain it so that somebody who had no understanding of physics actually understands and follows you? That's the challenge. This is Guerrilla Physics, I'm Kit Betts Masters, and this has been about the Feynman technique, bringing it into the 21st century. We're all about, at Guerrilla Physics, you understanding your physics more, so you get more confident, so that you actually enjoy it, and then you're going to do better in your exams. And that's the end game. If you can really fully understand that, if you can explain to someone, you can explain it under pressure in the exam situation. So the Feynman technique in the 21st century is make videos, watch it back, fill in the gaps, simplify, and perfect it. And actually, your phones are so smart. The smartphones we have are so smart. I make a lot of my videos that I'm making these days just purely on my smartphone. And I've got two apps to recommend to you. Uh, one is called Power Director. Um, it's really good. It's actually, you can edit the videos down on your phone. And another one that I'm using more recently is called Kinemaster. And both of those, you can actually, you, you can actually edit the video on your phone. So if you did like some of your first explanation, but you stumbled over certain words, you can edit things in. You can have a go at patching in different videos, what we call B-roll, which are like the little bits that make it look pretty. You can put titles on the screen and you can make your own educational videos. And I promise you, you will rem remember a lot more of what you explain to the camera and what you perfect into a good e video explanation than what you just read or what you copy out or even questions that you maybe answer. It is the best technique for revision, is making your own videos. We live in the 21st century, make use of all the technology that we have for your revision. I promise you this is a completely effective revision technique. It doesn't feel good, does it, when you get put on the spot and you don't really know what you should say, you stumble over your, your words, you know you've used the wrong term but you carry on regardless. It's pretty challenging. That's what teachers go through every single day. But putting it on video, just for yourself, and if you like it, then you can publish it. And I'd love to see people drop their videos down into the comments and show off their own explanations so that you can actually help each other out. But more importantly, so that you build up a bank of revision resources that you can watch back and that you have had the benefit of making yourself 
explanations of all those tricky bits, those bits that you struggle with, that you know you get wrong with exams, but you know you should be able to understand them.